Here we have a typical question about tax. As we go through, it's good to highlight key pieces of information. So here, last year, Zara's total income before tax was $25,000. We often see tables just like this in questions involving tax. We need to split this $25,000 into the three categories given by the table. Now, I like to use a bar to help me to model these. So there's a personal allowance up to $10,000. So what I'm going to do is draw a little line down here that represents the bottom of my bar. And then the first section, I'm just going to freehand draw a bar like this that goes from $0 up to $10,000. I'm going to keep building up this bar until I get to $25,000. So notice there's no tax up to $10,000. So this whole first row here tells me that there's 0% tax on $10,000. I'm going to work that out in a moment. Now the basic rate is 20%. Now that's between 10,000 to 22,000. So I'm gonna draw another bar on top. And this time it goes from 10,000, from 10,000 to 22,000. So I'm gonna write that here. Now this bar represents 20% of the difference between 10,000 and 22,000. So that is 12 thousand dollars so so far there's zero percent on ten thousand dollars and twenty percent of the twelve thousand dollars now my total at the moment is twenty two thousand i need twenty five thousand i need an additional three thousand dollars to get to the total twenty five thousand so in this box here I need 25% of, remember it goes from 22,000 to 25,000, so that's $3,000. And now I can calculate these amounts. So here I'm gonna work out the tax. So I need 25% of 3,000, so half it is 1,500, half it again is $750. I need 20% of 12,000 for this section here. So 10% is 1,200. So 20% must be 2,400. And then here, 0% of something is 0. So if I add these up, I'll get the total tax that Zara needs to pay. So Zara needs to pay $3,150 in tax. Here we have another tax question and we can see that table appears again. Using the highlighter, it says down here, how much this person earns. In this case, we're working in pesos, 600,000 pesos. And we're gonna break it up using the bars again. So I'm just gonna start by drawing a line at the bottom, which represents zero level. I'm gonna keep building it up until I get to 600,000. So in the first bar, up to 200,000 is zero percent. And now my second bar goes from 200,000 to 500,000. And this is 10%. Now remember it's 10% of the difference. This bar goes from 200,000 to 500,000. So I need to find 10% of 300,000. Now the last bar, I need to go up to 600,000. Anything over 500,000, this point here, 
is 35%. So I need an additional 100,000 to get to 600,000. And this is 35% of the difference, 100,000. Once I've sorted out my little bar here, I can work out the tax for each part. So here, the first one, 35% of 100,000 is going to be 35,000. 10% of 300,000 is going to be 30,000. And then here, 0% of 200,000 is 0. If I add these up, I'll get the total tax. So this person has to pay 65,000 pesos in tax each year.